hey Tommy I'll do this you saw the outside so I'm gonna turn around here's the the side porch I guess back porch here's the door going in um, I know you saw some of this stuff so this place is not as large as the last one we looked at so basically this is what you can fit in your living room area um, there's our dining and our kitchen which you saw the kitchen there's the front door actually there's my son's car here's the fireplace it's unvented and then they've got a spot up here for a television with your internet connection up in there try not to get you dizzy so here's the kitchen You had called, so the video stopped. So I'm going to continue on. So here's the little. Now you notice the floors. There's yes, definite dog scratches on the floors. Um, I don't see any damage to the floors, just scratches. So here we go down the hallway. On the left is the stack washer and dryer and the HVAC system. So there's our stack washer and dryer and our HVAC. see that and freeze it you can okay and then the other side now here I'm looking back out to the front door in the living kitchen area and then the other side of the hallway from the laundry is the hall bathroom okay and that's got a jacuzzi tub with a shower and then a window that looks out the front yard as you approach the house, that's the driveway there. That's your private drive. Everything looks okay in here. Um, you've got a bedroom here. That might be a queen. That's a pretty honking, pretty big bed. So without the headboard and the footboard, obviously you'd have a little more room to walk here. Um, but it's big enough for, currently with that size bed, probably a nightstand and a dresser the way they've got it. And that again is looking out the front. This is looking out the side. And then when I turn that way, I'm looking towards the Placid Valley and the bridge. And then a small closet here. It looks like they've done some touch-up paint. It's not quite matching on here. I don't know if you can see the shiny and the matte finish. Um, that's it for this bedroom. And then this is quote unquote the master, even though they've got two beds in it. So all this furniture stays. There is no hot tub. That was the renters. Okay. You can step into this room or into it, but it's 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 not real big. Um, really meant for a second home. You know, that's a lot of these are like that. And then here's the bathroom from the master. So you've just got a single sink. And, um, and then a shower only. This is not a bathtub, it's just a shower, which is fine in my book. You know, we've already got one bathtub, so you don't really need two. Um, and then we will go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. So I'm back at the front door, fireplace, the door I entered in from. And here's our stairs, and we'll go upstairs. There is no bathroom up here, which I think we already talked about. And there's a decent sized bed, so you could fit a king up here. I mean, um, there's plenty of room here for furniture. Um, there's that third bed, so that is still here. It's just they switch things around, I guess. That's looking out the side yard again. So if I if we go out that window and look to the left, we see the creek. Look to the right, we see the driveway and the front yard. And there's your view looking out, and then I can look down. There's our living room. And there's my dining area. And then I'll take you 
Um, get these lights off. Yeah. I'll take you outside and I'll show you the B part. It's interesting that it's only on the lower part of the logs of the house, um, but they are coming out again from where they were, where they filled in. Sorry, I got my finger in there. Um, I'll turn these off in a minute. So I'm going back out. There's our creek. The parking area. Long driveway. Metal roof. Front door. There's our dining room in there. Now I've got to go down the steps because they, they don't have railings here. Um, and there's a little bit of a drop there. You can see that. So there's your front yard. There's your septic. It's got an alarm because it's in a uh, floodplain. Um, so basically, if that tank gets full, that alarm will go off. Um, so you'll need to know that. That's where it comes out in the clean out. A little wet here. We just had some rain yesterday. Here's the side. You've already seen that. The crawl space. That's bedroom two there. This is the window for the master bedroom. Oh, I was going to show you. I think it looks okay though in the house, but I was going to show you the bees. Back to the front yard. So here's what we're seeing with the bees. So you see there's several. Several like that. Let me get down there. You go. There's a couple there, but it's all along. All along here they've um, done their thing. There's a couple more where they're going to come out if they haven't already. There's some more there. So it's all along this side down towards the bottom. So kind of interesting that they've been popping out of their holes. I think I see one in that one right now. He's poking his little butt out. Um, so yeah, there's several along here. And there you go. Window sills need to be um, restained pretty much all around the house. And I think that's it. So um, I think you've gotten a close-up of the creek. Let me look at that again for you real quick. Um, it's a nice creek front. There's our. Let me get over here. Oops, sorry. Nice creek. And there we go. Talk to you later. Bye.